This video is presented by the Rutgers Global Tuberculosis Institute. The video explains how tuberculosis, or TB, is spread and what you can do to prevent it. Arun has just been diagnosed with TB disease. He has many questions, including, why did this happen to me? Did I make anyone else sick? How can I protect my friends and family? To answer these questions, let's first consider how TB germs spread. When a person has TB disease in their lungs or throat, they can release TB germs into the air when they cough, sneeze, sing, laugh, or speak. These germs are not visible with a naked eye and may remain floating in the air. If people breathe in those germs, they enter their lungs, which can become infected. This is most likely to happen if people spend a lot of time with someone who is sick with TB. Infection is less likely during short encounters, like when meeting someone while grocery shopping or mailing a letter. It's also less likely outdoors. Unlike the common cold, TB cannot spread by touching surfaces or other people, such as through handshakes, sharing utensils, or kissing. Once TB germs land on a surface, they cannot cause infection. Someone who has become infected may develop TB disease in their lungs or in other parts of their body, either soon after infection or years in the future. Most of the time, TB affects the lungs, but it can affect any part of the body. Disease in the lungs is called pulmonary TB. Disease in other parts of the body is called extrapulmonary TB. TB of the lungs is the type that is most likely to spread from person to person. <coughs> Someone with a strong cough and with lots of TB germs in their lungs is more likely to spread TB to others. Adults are more likely to spread TB than children. People are more likely to be infected if they spend a lot of time in close contact with someone who has TB disease, such as family members, co-workers, or friends. People who have lived in or traveled to countries with higher rates of TB are more at risk for becoming infected with TB. Since TB is spread through the air, anyone can become infected with TB. A diagnosis does not mean that a person did anything wrong. It only means that they breathed in TB germs and became infected. Without treatment, they can go on to develop TB disease, like Arun, and spread TB to others. It is possible for someone to spread TB before they know that they are sick or are diagnosed with TB. This is why it's important for Arun to speak with the health department and share information about who he has spent time with while he was sick. This includes family members, friends, and co-workers. The health department will reach out to anyone who might have been exposed to TB germs so that they can be tested and treated. This is called a contact investigation. If someone has been infected, they can be treated to prevent them from becoming sick with TB disease. The health department will not share Arun's name or tell that he has TB. They will work as hard as they can to keep Arun and everyone else's personal information private. Arun may be feeling guilty about spreading TB to others, but he can help keep his family and friends healthy by talking with the health department. He can also share what he has learned about TB and urge his family and friends to ask questions to help ease their fears. What are some ways that Arun can take action now to reduce the chances of spreading TB to others, including his friends and family? When Arun is first starting his treatment and before the medications have enough time to work, he may still be able to spread TB germs to others. This means that TB germs are still leaving his lungs when he coughs, sneezes, sings, laughs, or speaks. Until his body stops spreading TB germs, Arun should avoid spending time with others. If possible, he should sleep alone. These actions reduce the amount of time that others are exposed to the TB germs and makes it less likely they will become infected. Some patients who are very sick may need to be isolated in the hospital at the beginning of their treatment. When Arun does need to be near others, he should wear a mask. This reduces the amount of TB germs that enter the air and that can be breathed in by others. When he coughs or sneezes, 
he should cover his mouth with a disposable tissue. The tissue should not be reused. Fresh air from outside can also reduce the spread of TB by removing and scattering the TB germs. At home, this can include opening windows and doors for natural ventilation. TB is treatable and curable with the right medications. Arun's healthcare provider will discuss the best options for treating his TB. Most patients with TB will start feeling better early in their treatment and will be less likely to spread TB to others. A healthcare provider will perform tests to be sure. Even after he is no longer spreading TB, Arun needs to continue taking all of his medicine for the full length of his treatment. If he stops before his healthcare provider says it's okay, he may become sick and start spreading TB again. The health department can provide support to help Arun get through his treatment. Arun now feels more confident in his ability to protect others from being exposed to TB using isolation, masks, and ventilation. He will also follow his healthcare provider's advice to complete all of his treatment to help both himself and others. It can be scary to receive a diagnosis of TB, but it's important to know that TB is curable and that there are ways to avoid spreading it to others. Like Arun, you should be sure to share your questions and concerns so that your healthcare provider can help you with the information and care you need. For more information about TB, visit this website for the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention 